Howdy everybody, welcome back to the Cast Gaming Channel. James here once again, and I have another Napoleonic Total War 3 mod replay for you guys today. It's going to be a 4v4, and uh, we're going to be watching the Coalition today. Uh, this replay was sent in to me by uh, Drogo Staff, so thank you for the replay. Uh, he sent it in through the Discord. Uh, which you can find the link to in the description box below. Also, you can find in the description box below. Uh, the, besides the link to my Discord, uh, my email address, as I am sponsoring a 4v4 Napoleonic Total War tournament, uh, I'd like to get about 6 to 10 teams together, and first prize is going to be $100. And I'd also like to interview the winning team. Uh, and once again, you can find that the uh, the link of, of my discord and my email address in the description box below uh, so let's go ahead and get into this replay we've got uh, uh, Spain for the coalition today uh, as our first faction followed by uh, the United Kingdom Brunswick and Russia Let's see if I can find who they're going to be facing off against today. So we have uh, 1805 France is our first contestant here. Uh, the United States is number two. Württemberg is number three. And then 1809 France. Um, so just... Taking a look at this map really quick, I think there's only kind of one option really on this um, map for the coalition. I think they're going to have to take this ridge in the center of the map right here. And they're going to have to push into this town. Uh, and then also they're going to have to flank on this left side to try and take control of this uh, hill position with the forest. Um, there is a forest on the right side here, but this, this is more of a defensive position. I don't see the Imperials coming on, uh, pushing on this side. And in fact, if I was the Imperials, you can see some Russian Cav scouting some um, Imperial Cav right there. Uh, the Imperials have a great defensive position with this forest right here and this house. Uh, it also is on a hill. So it's got some elevation to it. There's also this uh, uh, pond here. So you can put some artillery right here if the uh, coalition tries to outflank you on this side, you can fire across with your artillery pretty much um, with impunity because uh, Cav can't get at you through this pond. They have to come through this section. Um, they can't hit you from the right side because of all this forest. So it's a great defensive position against outmaneuvering on this side. Also, the coalition starts out closest to this town right here so i would i'm sorry the imperials start out closest to this town so i think they're going to rush in take this town really quick and hold it as they should and then if i was the imperial faction i would rush on this right side get through this town through this forest take this hill take this hill uh push your units into the forest right here place some artillery uh maybe by this uh nice windmill maybe dante uh don quixote will come tilting at you and uh, you take this flank, you can hit on any units that have positioned themselves um, on this hill from the coalition. And also you have access to this house if you want to take it. And, um, and possibly some more outflanking if you want to be super aggressive. So right now it looks like everybody's getting into place. Russia's just scouting out some more. Uh, France is moving up as I figured assume that they would and we still got some uh, Russian Cav here So as, as I was kind of saying um, My opinion on this map if if the coalition holds this town the town has a two-pointer and a one-pointer within it um so whoever holds the town basically is going to be able to control the LOC, assuming they can hold the rest of their lines. Uh, but both teams really have uh, strong defensive positions um, on either side with the Imperials having a strong 
defensive position in this forest. Let's see, there's some cav going around this forest. I'm trying to check that Russian uh, cav there, but as I was saying, uh, the coalition has this really excellent uh, elevated position just outside of town. Uh, for defense, so it, it would be difficult for the Imperials to storm that um, straightforward. Unfortunately, the Imperials don't get the same thing um, because they have, as I said before, they have this forested area with the hill on the left side. So that's why I was kind of, um, I was eyeballing this hill on the right side. I think if you are the Imperials and you can get up here in time, it's, it's going to be uh, really good for you also it's a little bit easier if you want to storm this flank uh, because of the forest if uh, the coalition doesn't get any infantry into this forest and they just kind of maybe play some artillery units on this hill or, or don't uh, recognize that they should put units into the forest first it's going to be a great opportunity for the imperials to push through this forest uh, fire at the coalition underneath some cover and eventually uh, push up the hill, take it, and then they'll be outflanking whoever's in the center here. So if I edit this up right, this is a 36 point game today. Uh, so we've got, we've definitely got some higher factions today. Uh, I kind of play, if I'm playing a match um, I like to do around 32 points. That's kind of my average. That way you have some high levels, but you get a mix of the, uh, the lower level factions as well. Uh, and that way you got to, you kind of satisfy, um, whoever likes to play higher factions, but you also satisfy, like maybe some people like to play lower level factions as well. I just feel it's a good mix. Um, so we've got, uh, France is pretty much in the town. looks like they've taken, uh, some house some houses here um rush is going in for a charge against this uh artillery and he's gonna get it he saw a huge opportunity and he went for it and russia's cab did route i think uh france's cab here should continue the pursuit on russia's broken cab unit because it'll probably return uh, but that's unfortunate he lost a, an eight pounder, uh, a three gun eight pounder. That's very unfortunate. That's probably gonna play a huge factor in the defense, uh, or at least, at least it's gonna um, hurt him more than he would like it to. Uh, but that's okay, buddy. I feel your pain. I actually uh, had something similar happen to me the other night and I lost all of my uh, all of my artillery because I thought I was safe, but I really wasn't because gorillas are terrible. Uh, Russia returned. France is going back in for another charge here. And uh, it doesn't look like this Russian unit is going to return now. Oh, but France does have another eight pounder here. Uh, it looks like uh, Brunswick went in for a charge here against some uh, United States Cav. And, or vice versa. Either way, the, this uh, Brunswick Cav broke. Uh, Brunswick should retreat this Cav uh, right here. I don't know why he's still kind of sticking around. Maybe he had a little pathing issue with the, the building and the windmill there. Uh, and you know, I really like this map. I ha This is another map that I haven't played before. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing um, than some other maps that I play. You know, I like the uh, the nice green hill here. Uh, I like the the location of the town. Not to mention just some of these forested areas here. It's just really cool with the ponds. So he's got around, uh, it's a little bit back and forth here, kind of slow. It, it's kind of a, a large map. Troops are just taking their time, getting in position. Um, I think France could benefit here, maybe to push up. 
Well, I was going to say if there was no artillery, but it looks like there's some artillery here, so it's better for him to just um, move his units behind the buildings, get some cover, hold the position, maybe uh, counter with some artillery. I'd be a little bit uh, careful here with the United States uh, artillery battery. Uh, what is this, a howitzer? No, it's six pounder horse. Okay, my bad. But he's got an opportunity. If he uh, unlimbers really quick, he can take some shots at this cab, which would be extremely helpful, especially the Russian cab. Uh, there's another opportunity to get some artillery fire on this, I thought. See some divots here. I wonder where the cat, uh, where they're, okay, okay. Uh, France didn't move its up, move up its artillery any longer, so he's getting some shots in at this cav. Uh, it was just hard to see because the uh, fog of war made the artillery battery disappear. You see, there's this nice uh, defensive position. Uh, I don't think the United States is going to be able to hold this, hold this position with just the cav that it has. It needs to bring up some infantry, and. I, I hope that this um, uh, this general unit for the United States is going to swing left here against against Brunswick. I hope that's what it does. And if I was him, I would swing around all the way to the left here and just come up this center section uh, to outflank Brunswick. Because if Brunswick uh, tries to outflank you on the left, well, then you have plenty of time to counter uh, the maneuver. And if I was Brunswick here, I would just close in as quickly as I could. Uh, if if you need, if you're going to take this town, I would close in with the United States, Spain, um, and just and Russia, and just like straight at it at this point because you're just ganging up on the center. There, uh, there isn't a lot of reinforcements right now from uh, the United States. You have a, a an excellent opportunity to push can possibly route uh, a, a 12 pointer which would be a huge loss against um, against the Imperials right away but I, I understand if you I mean I understand these troops are still a little bit farther away but Russia's already got some units here he's had units here for a little bit um, it's just now that uh, Spain and the UK are arriving uh, Brunswick is pretty much in position. You can quickly, quickly overwhelm this position uh, before the United States or, or Württemberg can, can move up in time to, to help you or to help its allies. Not to mention you have some uh, great artillery position here already. Uh, really need to get some artillery up over here uh, on this left side so it can shoot into this cab. Uh, there's also an opportunity to have a mass cab bed on this left side against the um, the Imperials while you push up your infantry and artillery. I mean, this is the opportunity that I see right now. My initial plan was just to, um, you know, maybe take this left side uh, and hit in the middle, maybe along this line, and then... Uh, uh, well, I guess my initial plan was kind of uh, what I'm talking about right now, but I was also including into taking this hill uh, so you wouldn't be outflanked that, and that you'd also have flanking fire. Uh, what I didn't recommend was trying to push uh, and maneuver on this right side, which I know I advocate all the time for. I advocate for maneuver, but um, on, this right, it, on this right side, it doesn't make sense. It does make sense on this left side, however. Uh, so I think that will be a good idea, but the, like I said before, what I'm really seeing right now is just being able, you have the, uh, the coalition has the opportunity to just overwhelm this middle section of the map right now. And I think if it waits too long, uh, it'll lose that opportunity because, uh, before it'd be a, you would have had a three or a four on one or a four on two advantage in the center. Uh, but as Wurzenberg comes up and, and as the United States comes up, it's just going to, the odds are going to continue to go against uh, the coalition. So UK looks like it's charging its cab. I'm not really sure what it's, 
it's trying to accomplish here with with putting Cav in the town. Maybe he's trying to do a little bit of scouting. I'm not really sure what the heck is going on here. Oh, he's trying to get the artillery, maybe. Maybe that's what he was going for, trying to get the artillery in the back so it can't be repositioned. And if that's what he was going for, well done. I didn't see that. I didn't think you could hit uh, this artillery unit um, and, and basically let it not be able to uh, move from its position. I didn't know you could hit it like that. Got some more uh, United States Cav. Here's a really good. Uh, the United States has actually had a good opportunity right here to charge this cav, uh, charge this cav into these units, and this is a over huge oversight on uh, on the United States to lose this ground is without a fight is a huge oversight. You know, this is such an amazing defensive position in this forest. Uh, you could have troops in the forest right now shooting against this. Uh, encroaching Brunswick infantry uh, with almost near impunity because the forest is so thick. Oh my goodness. I It's so disheartening when I see the, this um, huge, obvious defensive position just uh, be taken by three infantry units. Oh my goodness. And it looks like uh, uh, coalitions forming up outside of town. They really need to push a lot faster. They really need to be pushing harder. Um, Brunswick has the attention of the United States. Brunswick has it. Now is the time to all out assault this this town, overwhelm your opponent before uh, Wurttemberg can come up. Uh, where the heck is that uh, other French player? So we've got the 11 pointer here maybe he forgot his general where the heck is there where the heck is his army are they coming up on this right side maybe his army is coming up on the right flank to capture this hill and if he does uh the coalition is going to be in a tough spot and that's why they really really need to push up right now there's a bunch of cab in the center here needs to be careful he's just taking shots from the artillery he's lost Five men from this unit. He's lost uh, seven men from that unit. Another 15 men in that unit. You see uh, another artillery hit right here. He needs to either, if he's not going to move this cab, he needs to spread him out. Or he just needs to fall back or move him. All right, so Wurttemberg's engaged here with this uh, Brunswick line. Uh, you know, I don't think Brunswick is going to fare too well in this fight without some backup. Uh, they're up against this defensive position. The United States is charging in some cav against Brunswick. Excellent cav charge. Can't form square. He's got this other reserve unit that, that's been hit with a charge. It looks like Brunswick count, did a counter charge here, broke the United States Cav. Brunswick's units in the house are retreating. He's sending in another unit. This is a mistake. I think Brunswick needs its infantry out of the house right now. I don't, um, or they need to put a stronger infantry unit into the house. It's very difficult to take buildings. Uh, the other option is if I was Brunswick, you know, there were the, I'd move some infantry into the forest to outflank Wurttemberg. Wurtten, uh, Wurttemberg's infantry is very strong. It's a lot stronger than most people get a cre credit for, especially for a six pointer faction. Has anything been happening here in the center? No, it's just some more artillery going off. And Brunswick's going in here for a charge against the Wurttemberg line. They, neither of these units can form square. There's a good charge there. 
Probably taking a little bit more fire than he wanted to. Uh, Brunswick's kind of... He's got some help from the United Kingdom here. Uh, so that's definitely going to help him. If I was Wurttemberg, I'd, I'd get some more troops on this right flank. Or I'd, I'd fall back a little bit be behind the house. Maybe uh, towards this windmill against the forest. Or if you're going to be... If you're going to have these extra units here, you can hit them and get into the forest. Outflank uh, these Brunswick units. Wurttemberg's retreating because he's losing the fight. I don't blame him at all. Brunswick uh, is going back and forth with Wurttemberg in the house. I don't know if he's going to be able to capture it. It doesn't look like it. Uh, but Brunswick was able to put a grenadier unit in the house, and I think that's going to be able to capture it for him. And yeah, there it goes. He's got the house. Wurttemberg at this point needs to fall back either into the forest or needs to connect with France. And if they have some artillery to spare, it would be very helpful in the center to fill in this gap right here, especially against the UK line. Uh, unfortunately, I I just hate to see the missed opportunity for the great defensive position that uh, Wurttemberg and the United States could have held right there. It looks like uh, 1805 France is coming to its allies' rescue here. He's trying to reposition. And France is sending a lot of units over in that direction. And there's uh, coalition still be pa is still being passive in the center. And it, this, is I think, might cost them. Uh, or maybe they're just trying to pin, this in, uh, pin the center in place, which I understand, but... I mean, you have a, a huge opportunity to overwhelm your opponent on this side of the map. Or at least in the center. You can outnumber them. Good hit right here. You can see uh, the artillery is wa wavering a little bit. France shifting over some units. If I was uh, France right now, there's a bunch of these skirmish units with this cav here. There is an opportunity for the United States to swing to the right here and hit this artillery. They can chew through this um, uh, these skirmishers. These are not very well uh, These artillery batteries are not very well protected. There, there is some cat back here, but if you if you're quick about it, they're not going to have enough time to react. And if I was Wurttemberg right here, I again I'd move my troops into the forest where you got some cover. Get them on the higher elevation. Even if the troops come around, um, push through here past the windmill to hit your troops in the flanks, you've got cover in the forest. You can hit them in the flank. And you can always move these units back. France always has some nice looking units. It's always uh, nice to take a moment and just appreciate the uniforms. And here we go. United States is uh, going for a cab charge here. He's going through. He needs to follow up with this other one. Uh, unfortunately, looks like they stopped running. He's able to route the skirmisher unit. He's going to probably at least get a little bit of damage on a couple more. Brunswick's falling in with a counter, cha uh, counter charge. Looks like the United States cab is going to route, but he's able to do some damage. Not too bad. Uh, uh, France coming in with another charge here. Hopefully he doesn't get stopped by uh, the routing infantry. If he could adjust it just a little bit to the right, he'd be able to take the, the cannons. He's able to hit one of the cannons. Oh, he's not able to hit the second, and he's going to get uh, countercharged here by uh, the UK. However, he did a great job getting one of the cannons. Is he going to be able to get the second one?
Uh, looks like he was able to get both artillery units right here. That's an excellent job on, on France's part. And looks like the United States went in for another charge here. That's going to be very helpful on this flank. France can push up some units, maybe uh, get the local superiority on Brunswick here. And it's also re reinforcing its ally here in the middle, which is going to be extremely helpful. Meanwhile, in the center, uh, still pushing up a little bit. Uh, Spain is, like I said, they have an opportunity to wrap around this house. If I was France right here, I'd, you know, you got to protect your ally in this situation. They're about to be surrounded. All, all Spain has to do is push through this side of the town along with uh, the what's left of the United Kingdom to push here. Uh, however, they are kind of hurt, hurting here on this side. So if I was the United Kingdom, I'd take some of these units to try and outflank France on this side, especially with the loss of that artillery. I'd also be uh, pushing some cav on this side. There's not much left of your ally in this on this left uh, left center. Their units are wavering against France. They're outnumbered. They're outgunned. They're against better armies. Yeah. Brunswick has an opportunity again to push some units into the forest. Spain and Russia continue to push up. They really... Uh, the, uh, if I was the United States, I'd, I'd start forming a line here to help out France. Oh, we've got some uh, uh, Russian or Cav here going in for a charge against the United States general, and they got him. He's gone. That's uh, that's going to be a huge blow to the United States. Wurttemberg's infantry and artillery right here is not doing anybody any good. He needs to get this into the fight right now. He needs to be going against uh, the United Kingdom on this side. Uh, needs to maneuver this artillery battery to the right side. Or he needs to go help out uh, this side. He needs to help out his allies on this side. I mean, there's a couple options he could be doing right now. And uh, just keeping this... This infantry here is not one of them. Um, uh, the United States needs to under, uh, unlimber this artillery, get some good shots in the United Kingdom. It'd be extremely helpful against the United Kingdom uh, since they tend to have fewer units, um, uh, fewer men per unit in their lines. United Kingdom has some opportunity. I don't know if he's still hitting any infantry in the center here. I uh, should be repositioning this gun to hit the, the cav. Uh, Brunswick still has some, some good opportunities maybe to get some hits down this road. It looks like his units have taken a little bit of damage. We've got a line battle going on the left side. Now France. Excellent positioning by France on this side. Uh, he's got some units to cover the flank if if and when uh, the coalition just pushes up too far, which is what they've done. Uh, if I was France on this side, I'd be pushing this infantry all the way up here, uh, pushing it through uh, the, the bridge right here uh, to hit the flank. And it looks like that's what they're doing right now. And here we go, Canaries. I like these yellow uniforms. I think I picked them out in one of my uh, previous casts, but... Still look good. Gotta love these giant line battles. They're one of the best things about this mod. I hear charge somewhere along the line. Looks like uh, Russia and, well, more Russia, uh, went in for a charge on this right flank. It looks like these units were not able to form square in time. He was able to uh, form square with the Canaries. 
We'll see if this is going to be a big enough push. I mean, this is heavy calf coming on on this right side. Uh, could really break through these units, wrap around. If Russia makes a charge against this infantry square, this infantry square probably won't last very long against the Ru Russian infantry, and he's going for it. He's got these guys in place. They're not going to be able to support against this Russian cav. He's going to force this other unit to form square in order to protect his line. And this is dangerous. Uh, France needs to push hard with these units if he can. If he's got any cavalry left, they need to be sent to this flank right now. And here we go. Russian infantry just trying to roll up this this line here. If I was Russia, I'd be charging these units in as well against this line infantry. Charge this one against this one. Charge these couple against this. Because he's just going to uh, continue to roll up this line if he, push, if he keeps pushing with his infantry in melee, France needs to fall back right now. It needs to fall back. Fall back, get some supporting units, get its cav in there if it has any. Looks like Russia's going in for another charge on France. I don't think this can form square. No, it can't. And it's going to route pretty quickly. Russia's advancing some more. This side's going to fold very quickly. I took a moment just to check the other side. I wasn't sure what was going on. There's some men flying across the screen and more charges. The lines are continuing to roll up. France needs to fall back and it needs to fall back right now. Uh, let's check this other left side. It's kind of at a stalemate right now. If I was the coalition right now, or I'm sorry, if I was the Imperials, I'd be retreating from this house. I'd be going out to help my allies on this right side. Because they're about to be gone. It looks like some uh, reinforcing units were able to uh, get rid of the units on this right flank. They're probably going to take this house in a little bit. And it's a, li it's, it's a little late for... Okay. I, was, I thought this was a, uh, a Russian cav unit, but... Uh, finally, France is doing what they need to do, which is retreat. Uh, the United States is buying a little time for its ally to, to get back here. Uh, I'd take this uh, this heavy cab unit for France. I I know it's buying you some time, but right now it's just getting shot at. Uh, you need to fall that back as well. The United States needs to fall back with its ally. And they need to do something about this uh, about this broken line here. Uh, the other opportunity, oh, Brunswick is going in for a charge against the guns here. There's nothing to stop it. And while the Brunswick unit broke, is able to at least touch the Württemberg unit, and it routed. Not good. I was just about to suggest take your, uh, the Imperials take their guns from this flank and shift them over to this flank against Russia. Uh, but they can't do that anymore. Not after, uh, not after that cap charge. Uh, it's nice to see that the Imperials, or I'm sorry, it's nice to see that the coalition, uh, Figured out that they could uh, kind of push up here in the center, overwhelm its opponents. Um, and France had a great idea of keeping some extra units on the flank of Russia. Unfortunately, they weren't able to execute it uh, as well as they could have. And also, uh, kudos to this Russian player for recognizing the strength of, of Russia's melee against an 11-pointer. And just charging them in there when he saw the opportunity. We'll see where kind of the positioning is at. Uh, Spain has an opportunity to take the town. There's too many reinforcements in the town uh, from this 12-pointer. Too many. 
Hey, he could have been using these two units right here to, to support his ally on this flank, or he could be using it to push. Also, uh, they should have been maybe a little bit more aggressive once there was an opportunity here on this right side um, to hit Brunswick. They probably should have pushed harder. Uh, the United States is folding here. They need to fall back, need to get a little closer to this house, keep in the house, use the house as a defensive position um, to hit the flank of, of, of Spain. Not to mention they're taking some damage from this artillery. We'll see if we can get a nice artillery um, shot on this, on this unit here. Come on, guys. It's taking so long. I believe in you. You can hit this line right here. No? No, we're not going to? Okay. Okay, he's repositioning the guns. Maybe this is it. Whoa! Nothing like uh, a man flying past your face to wake you up. Uh, UK is continuing to push. Uh, Wurzenberg is retreating its cav here. I'm still uh, miffed about... Uh, Lose uh, having the Imperials lose such a great defensive position, and not take advantage of it. Looks like uh, we've got some more, another cav charge here on the right flank of France. I'm gonna route these uh, uh, grenadier, these sapper units. France is going in maybe for a counter charge, probably not the smartest thing. Uh, he got caught up on his own men. Looks like Württemberg is trying to counter this uh, this heavy cav unit from Russia. If I was France, I'd turn some units around to shoot in the back of uh, this Russian cav here to support Württemberg. Maybe uh, pull this unit, this grenade. Uh, well, I guess you can. It's only got 18 men. Wurttemberg's going after the Russian general. If he can get him, it might hurt Russia just enough. Now, but it looks like Wurttemberg's cav routed. And it's not looking good. And it hasn't been looking good for this Imperial faction for, uh, for a while. Got another general death coming in here. Camillo. Uh, that was uh, France. 1809 France general just passed away. RIP. Uh, heavy cav unit from Spain coming in. It's going to finish off that, that unit. France is, uh, 1805 France is slowly getting uh, pushed back here and surrounded. Looks like America or the United States is reforming on the line here. It's good that they're pulling back to the house. Um, it's a good defensive position for them. France is trying to do its uh, a desperate bayonet, bayonet charge here in the town. Maybe it can route these units. It was able to route uh, this Spanish unit, maybe the one behind it, will also route. There's a, a grenadier unit from Spain, probably will be able to hold. Or maybe not, it looks like it's wavering. The 
The unit behind it routed. This grenadier unit might not have enough. Looks like this uh, Grenadier unit is gone here. The uh, United States has a little bit more left than I thought it did. Mertenberg actually uh, is looking decent against Russia. Uh, unfortunately, Mertenberg could uh, maybe push up a little bit against these, this Russian line. And I think the United States should have stuck its infantry there just a little bit longer. Maybe get another volley in to get the local superiority there. Uh, he could have pushed up these units while Spain was reforming to get some close shots in. And Wurzenberg still has an uh, has an opportunity here. We've got this France unit. It'll probably get charged here in a second by this cav. Unless it's just going to get completely bypassed and go straight into Wurzenberg. Or... It's going in the middle, behind the lines, I guess, for a line charge. But it gets caught up on this heavy cav. Slow down its charge a little bit. This is a little bit... I think this is a little bit premature on Francis' part. Pushing up, he should be dealing with his cav that's just free in the back. First... France going in for a bayonet charge against Brunswick. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going very well. It's sad to see it was a beautiful... Um, time charge there. Fortunately, there just wasn't much uh, uh, force behind it, which is surprising because it's a it's 1805 France. Uh, it's a higher point faction unit, so I'm surprised it just kind of died during the charge. But uh, it's possible they lost their general early, earlier in the match, which might have. Uh, Might have been the cause there. I like to see these lines just shooting back and forth. Never gets tiring. And that's a beautiful, uh, partly cloudy day here in some random place in Europe. Another charge here from some Wurtenberg Cav versus some Spanish Cav. Uh, Spanish Cav's not very good, but I think it might be enough to take care of this uh, Chef Leger unit from uh, Wurtenberg. Wurtenberg still has some Cav left. It could potentially get rid of this uh, this heavy cab unit from Spain. I think now would be a good time to uh, counter charge. The Spanish cab will most likely route. It's, it's it's tired and it's lost a lot of numbers. And now the uh, the Imperials have completely folded on this left flank. They've got a lone um, lone uh, 1805 France unit here.
That's a nice little volley. Ligne les enfants de Paris. The infants of Paris? Or the, the children of, of Paris, maybe? Yeah, it's probably children of Paris. That's probably uh, apropos. Here we go. Good, good charge from behind against the coalition. Wurtenberg's capitalizing on this by pushing up with a, uh, a bayonet charge of its own. Well done on them. He's got the, the general moved up to support the units here. I think he's going to be able to route this section of the Russian line. You see, we've got a Russian unit here. Looks like uh, this grenadier, Russian grenadier unit is close to routing. There it goes. It's a desperate charge here against the Russians for Württemberg. You know, uh, the United States is completely gone. Brunswick is is shooting it from behind. And so Württemberg's just throwing in everything that he's got against these units. He's able to he was able to break the Russian line right here. We've got some more reinforcements coming up from behind. Where the heck were those? Did they, did, did they come back from uh, from routing? I'm not sure. Here goes another Russian unit. Russia's got a single infantry unit left from this Württemberg charge. Spain's moved up to support its allies. And I think the help of Spain is, is probably going to be enough to overwhelm Württemberg's. And Wurzenberg had a valiant last charge here on this flank, but unfortunately, it basically um, destroyed the Russian army, but unfortunately was destroyed itself. Now there's some uh, Imperial units left that have come back from the fight. The, uh, the combined Brunswick and United Kingdom Infantry here will be able to um, rid what's left of of the French army. They'll be able to go after the town or any buildings that are left. Looks like all the other units are out of the match or routing. So. This was a great game. I really enjoyed uh, casting this. Uh, it just hurt me. It hurt me on my inside um, to watch this uh, forested area just go to waste and Brunswick conquer it so easily without a fight. It just hurt me, you know. Just hurt my very being and essence to see that uh, blunder. I just, you know, I always, always hate to see missed opportunities. Um, the coalition, I felt they could have, I felt they had an opportunity earlier on in the match before they initially pushed up. Uh, I felt they had a great opportunity to surround this, uh, the center village um, a lot sooner. Like, potentially they could have had four armies overwhelm just the one. Maybe it would have been a 4v2 match at that point at that point by the time um, because the United States was pretty darn close uh, but still they had a, a unique opportunity to just overwhelm their opponents en masse uh, earlier in the match which they did take advantage of but 
unfortunately, well, fortunately for them, they didn't need to take advantage of it at, um, because of the huge oversight uh, on the defensive line position here on the side. Uh, also, France, uh, 1805 France, I believe, or I'm sorry, not 1805, but uh, I think they're 1809. Maybe they are 1805. Let me double check. Okay, 1809 France. Uh, the 11 pointer France was on this side. He didn't move up far enough early enough. I think had he uh, been able to take this hill right here, had he pushed up to this hill, maybe he had a little bit of a delaying force on this side, he could have hit uh, the coalition lines from behind, uh, which I think totally would have changed up the game plan. And then coalition would have had to have shift units to this backside uh, uh, to engage him. And at that point, France in the town probably could have just, uh, defeated, or France and the United States together, uh, the 1805 France in the United States could have just hit Russia who had pushed too far up, or they could have, uh, or it would have given time for his allies on, on the left flank to defeat, uh, the combined Brunswick and United Kingdom force. But, uh, unfortunately for the Imperials, neither of those things happen. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it was a great game regardless. Um, every match is unique. Uh, every player has their own idea of what they want to do. But, uh, anyway, uh, we've got to the, uh, the end game here. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and uh, read the stats here. So we've got, uh, for the coalition side, we've got Kaki Kasek, uh, with playing as uh, Russia, and he had 1,827 kills. We have Drogostaff playing as Brunswick with uh, 1,574 kills. Uh, playing as the United Kingdom with CB7UP with 952. Jesus 60 was playing in Spain and he had 1,578 kills. Uh, the violinist was playing as uh, France and I can't really tell uh, if he was playing as uh, a 12 pointer France or if he's playing as 11 pointer and I apologize. Uh, one, he had 1,545. Steely Dan 32. Uh, he's got his own uh, YouTube channel. You can check it out if you're interested in that. He does some Napoleonic Total War Gas. Um, and he was playing in the United States with uh, 938 kills. Uh, Jack of the Shadows was playing as Württemberg, and he had 909 kills, followed by Camillo, uh, who was the other uh, faction of France, and he had 1,049 kills. So let's just go down the army, uh, the kill list here for the army, so you can check it out. This Again, this was uh, Drogo Staff's army, and he was Brunswick. So top unit had 176 kills, followed by a couple, actually a couple close uh, units, 164 kills, 160 uh, were the top of the next two. So pretty close. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one.